because we are original inhabitants of ancient Egypt. Professor Philip Njemanzi, welcome to the news. And please subscribe to our channel. Professor Philip Njemanzi has stated that Igbos were the original inhabitants of Egypt in his new book titled Igbo Mediators of Yahweh, Culture of Life, Volume 1, Part 1. In a brief review of the book made available in Inner News, Njemanzi noted that this book, Igbo Mediators of Yahweh, Culture of Life, Volume Okay, Volume 4, Volume 4, Exodus Part 1 is the first accurate account of the path of the Exodus based on genetic, ethno, ethno-linguistic, paleoanthropologic, and ecological scientific proof. The book builds on the theme of a book series, Igbo Mediators of Yahweh Culture of Life, that the Igbo are the chosen people of God. The true Israelite, Igbo language, Israeli meaning you are answered the most high. The question of who are the true ancient Israelites has been settled with the science of population genetics. It has been shown conclusively that the Igbo have L1 gene, which is a semi-gene of ancient Israelite. Human origins are traced through metrilineal genes, starting with the Eve gene called super haplogroup L. O. The three women who were theoretically wives of Shem, Ham, and Japheth were L1, L2, and L3 haplogroups, respectively. These genes are called Nilotic genes because of their origins along the Nile, Igbo language, in Mirinal, meaning all the waters. The Igbo were the original inhabitants of ancient Egypt, Igbo language, Agoya Apatu. Apatu, meaning praise to God and carries out his instruction. And where the dynastic pharaohs, Igbo language, Eferoha, meaning your worship of the people. The Igbo were the earlier inhabitants of Nubia, or were a dialect Igbo language, Anibu, meaning the land of the mediators, as priests that mediate, mediate within, between God and humanity for the remission of sin. The Igbo that speak the Ower dialect lived in Nubia or Lower Egypt, while those that speak the Onitsha dialect lived in Upper Egypt. The Igbo Egyptians were conquered by the Turkic and ancestors of Arabs and then enslaved in their own land. As Hebrews, Igbo language, Oha, Ohebu Uruwa, meaning the people who bear the wickedness of the world. On the way to the promised land of Canaan, Igbo language, Okenna, meaning the allotments of a father. Okenna, meaning the allotments of a father. They were formally ordained the nation of priests by God and called Igbo, on a Chadalet Igbo language. Igbo, meaning priests or mediators between God and humanity for the remission of sin. The Igbo gene haplogroup is L1 dating 150,000 to 240,000 years. The Altu are genes of a people of Black Southern Sudan region, which date 100,000 to 150,000 years, and L3 dates 70,000 to 100,000 years, and comprise all other Black people. The genes of a white people are M and N, and are the mutations of L3, that dates back 6,000 to 12,000 years. The location of a size from Egypt across Lake Chad, Igbo language, Chiedu meaning Almighty God leads. Niger, Igbo language, Aniagara meaning the lands we pass through. Cameroon, Igbo language, Okwamini, Okwamiriana, meaning the fire that was lit, Okwamiriana, meaning the fire that was lit in the ground, pillar of fire. And finally, Nigeria, Igbo language, Ngori, meaning the place of Almighty God. As to this, they preserved in several caves and national parks. The book provides the burial place of Moses, Igbo language, Omisiosa, meaning the anointed head of a people, at Yankari, Iyana Okwaria, meaning land stream with hot funnels. National Park in Belcher State, Nigeria, the great secrets of world civilization has been revealed in this book. Okay, well, there has been this um, this particular discussion or this particular topic 
you know, it has always been, it has always been on people's lips for a very long time. And, you know, they will always come out and say, ah, the Igbo people, they are this. Of course, me, I know very little about this because, of course, <laughs> I do not have first-hand information. And, of course, research has not been done. Are they not Israelis again? Of course, we are. Read very well. The journey began from Israel to Egypt. <laughs> okay. I think Moses must be Igbo. He was the one that brought them from Egypt to Israel. And they all decided to leave at once, only to come to where they are today. I beg, tell us another story. Yesterday they were from Israel and today, Egypt. Sometime it will be from Kenya. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, but because you are ignorant, you did not know that Israelites once lived in Egypt for centuries and later delivered by God to the land of Canaan, they scattered from Egypt during the Exodus. Indeed, this is getting interesting. You are like the biblical idol worshippers who are who are who are like the idols. You read but can never understand. Oh my goodness. You see but cannot perceive. You have eyes but cannot see. You have ears but cannot hear. You have brain. Oh my goodness. But cannot reason. Sorry is your name. Enjoy your migraine headache from Igbo matters. Oh my god. This is getting interesting here. Igbo people are confused because they are too smart for themselves. Very soon they'll tell you that they originated from Russia or England or Iraq or Cuba or Israel or Holland or China, Malaysia and so forth. I think Biafra is too small country to be for these guys since they covered the whole world geographically. Okay. <laughs> Igbo self, every year they come up with one confusing thing about their true identity. No wonder every place is home to them. <laughs> Oh my God. The whole world is ours. That's why we have bought all the good place. Your towns, cities, we are the children of the Most High. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is really, really getting interesting here. This is a very good historical revelation. Now, why are you causing problems for Nigerians? Go back to Egypt and reclaim your land, please. Oh my goodness. No, they cannot... No, they can't, but they believe that they can cause trouble in Nigeria so that they can acquire more land, especially from South South. I do not think this is the problem here. If you're thinking in this direction, then I do not think you know what these people really want. If, the, if these findings are anything to go by, why is it that the monarchal formation of the Egyptians is not reminiscent in the Igbo culture? Who do not have respect for a monarchal leadership until politics have forced it on them. Okay. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.